As you've seen, I just finished reading The Secret. I don't know if you guys have ever read this book, but I had to reread it after I watched and seen the movie about five years ago. Put me in such a good place over the past couple weeks here and just cranked it out, so I'm leaving this as a gift for Jenna because she hasn't read it and I feel like that's the least I could do for the amazing hospitality that she has hooked us up with. I got all the bags packed right now. We are fully loaded up. It is dumping rain right now, so hopefully my flight is still gonna be taken off, but we're heading into the city right now. Kind of making moves quick because she's got a concert to head down to in Canberra, which is five hours away, and uh, yeah, I don't wanna make her wait, so whew, let's get this day going here. Say peace out to the suitcase. Grant, Keely, appreciate you guys. Whew. Hopefully, I have everything. Oh yeah, it's dumping. Bye. More your style. <laughs> Best hospitality ever, Jenna. Thank you. Thanks for the yum chop. You're welcome, man. Yeah, I'll see you again. Thank you so much. See ya. Thanks, Danny. Yes, thank you so much again. <laughs> yes, bro. Thank you so much. Niso, you'd be proud, bro. They wanted 15 bucks to wrap the bag. A little bit of Niso smooth talking. Dude threw me my own roll, says use as much as I want. Free on the house. So classic. And mom, mom, I got this for you. Much, brother. Thanks, man. You're the hero, bro. You saved it. <laughs> Seen me struggling. Throws it on the machine. <laughs> oh my gosh, Jenna. I stole your jacket. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I feel bad now. We're back! 
Did you see my friend yesterday? No, I did not. He didn't come say hi? No, I was, I was, I was waiting for you guys yesterday. Say hi to Niso. Hi, Niso. <laughs> Instead of waiting in that line forever, came to stop by our friend here. And she's claiming that she was waiting for us yesterday and showed up and had an American flag hoodie on. And then we never showed. <laughs> So good. You're the best. <laughs> no way. Dream Miso. You're running in my blood. <laughs> You're back all the way to Munich for your next flight. Your name correct? Thank you so much, Michelle. So, oof, bags are checked. Did you guys, did I not break down to you that I woke up this morning and I had an email that I won an outside TV contest and just so happens to include a new video camera and a free trip to Whistler with full room and board or whatever and some other anemones that I don't even know and I get to bring somebody and that's pretty heavy. But uh, yeah, I'm about to go break down something to you guys before I go inside of this terminal here. Ooh. <sighs> Alright guys, we are kicking it at the airport heavy right now and I'm just realizing that there's no way I'm going to be able to get an upload on my layover. I got a nine hour flight and then I'm going to have another like seven or eight hour flight. So super short vlog today, but I got to get it uploaded so I can give you something. I do want to touch on a crucial, crucial subject that I try to live my life by and since I just finished The Secret and it's like very relative in my head right now. I just want to promote a way of life that I have been living by for a while now that has helped me out so much and been so beneficial and it's like just beyond being filled with gratitude, it's minimalizing and having less things and when you get a house maybe or you get a spot and you want to just start loading it up with stuff, it can become overwhelming and you can just have way too many actual things or you can strive for maybe wanting this new something or a new car or something like that. And in reality, when you get that, it's probably not gonna bring happiness. You gotta reach within you and you gotta be stoked before you get the things that you want in order to achieve and in order to reach and get the things that you actually want. Which, if you've ever known somebody who's super old and wise, they'll all tell you the same thing and that there is nothing more important than stacking memories and relationships and adventuring and just trying to, what I call for me, living the dream. Everybody's dream is different, but everybody does have a dream and there's more than enough in this world to go around for everybody to have what they want because not everybody wants the same thing not everybody wants a lamborghini not everybody wants a million dollar house so the people that do want those they can have them they can get them they can achieve them and the people that don't that do want to live in vans there are plenty of vans and plenty of campsites for people to be living at and it may you may think at first that getting rid of your stuff you're going to have less but the freedom that opens up to your world when you have less stuff, like me dumping off a suitcase and only bringing the essential survivals for my snowboarding trip is such a relief that I can't even begin to explain it. And just having the confidence and having the courage, which honestly Miso Hollywood taught me a lot on this trip about not really caring too much about what people think about you and being your true self because when you're your true self, then people are actually gonna like you and they're gonna appreciate you and they're gonna get a lot from you. And giving back in this world is way more important than receiving. So. I could preach on as much as I can, but it's such a good way of life that I've been trying to live by that I come in and out of, but more than anything, I try to stay focused and aware of just trying to make people happy, trying to enjoy every second that I have on this planet and do the things that I love that are very scary at first, like booking a trip to New Zealand and Australia and having no idea where you're gonna stay, but as you see, as soon as you land, people will hit you up or you'll find people on the airplane or in the airport that are willing and super stoked to help you out because that's what life is about, is helping others. And the more you help others, the more others will help you. So, I guess I'm just trying to say give back, do your part, have as much fun as you can in this life. Don't accumulate things, accumulate experiences. The less you have, the more you have. It seems uh, pretty cliche to say, but usually the cliche things are the truth. Everybody's known it for the longest time. 
the best people in history have always claimed it, and I'm claiming it right now. Less is more, and I love you guys so much. All 6,000 of you, and supporting the dream is, yeah, it's hard to explain how much I get out of giving back to you guys, and how much I love putting in so much work that doesn't seem like it's really paying off, but deep down it is. From the motivating messages, from all the love and feedback that I get that I'm helping you guys to you know, accomplish your goals and, and follow your dreams is, yeah, it's empowering and motivating me to keep going and doing what I do, so. I do understand that you do need a couple bucks and sometimes you gotta work for that, but don't try to save up as much as you can and just hold on to it and hold on to it and try to retire with millions of dollars because when it comes down to it, you never know when your time is up. And uh, also, shout out to my brother Ryan Nagel because yesterday was his six year passing and uh, he's the reason I'm doing everything. He's the reason that I have so much confidence and courage to send it everywhere that I go and uh, I believe the reason that so many people are attracted in my life and trying to help me out and it's the universe doing its perfect balance that cannot be argued, that cannot be forced, it just is what it is. So that's enough of me blabbling on here for the next 10 hours I'm gonna be traveling and I'm gonna be landing in Austria and yeah, I'm just so stoked you guys are here for the ride and so stoked that I can be offering anything good out into the world. This vlog has been the best thing that's ever happened to me over the 10, 11 months that I've been doing it and uh, yeah, just wanna say thank you guys so much for everything and I hope you guys are living your dream which is different than every single other person's dream. We can all live our dream so we'll see you guys tomorrow in Europe gonna be heavy back on snow in less than 48 love you guys we will see you mañana para el sueño Woo. should i throw it up instead there she is <laughs> peace out guys